Hey, Coach, I, we know Alizé is an energy guy, um, but how impressive was his performance? He's, I believe, the first net in nearly 30 years to have 20 and 20 off the bench. Yeah, I mean, an incredible um, stat line. He's, uh, he plays with energy and, uh, um, you know, brings it every night. So it's uh, impressive that he can, he can collect that many rebounds and, and score and, you know, in a, in a role where we don't run anything for him. And, uh, you know, so, so it's an incredible performance and, uh, you know, really happy for him, you know, given that he wasn't even in the league. Uh, a month ago or so, and uh, here he is putting up incredible stat lines. In what ways have you seen players empower each other when you have key guys out and guys like Alizé stepping up? In what ways have you seen players empower their own teammates to to yeah. uh, strong performances? Um, I, I don't know if I have any like tangible kind of um, anecdotes, but I just feel like our environment, you know, is strong and. And guys love to compete together and have formed, you know, a bond throughout the course of the year where, um, you know, frankly, we've had no choice, but we've, we've taken on the, the opportunity to come together and to play in different rotations, combinations, lineups. And so I think that is a facet of our team where, you know, we, you could say all the negatives of what's gone on this season, but the positive is that we've found a way to hold it together. And uh, here we are. 43 and 20, you know, with whatever 30 something different starting lineups and all the things that have been thrown at us. So really proud of the group, the environment, the, the way they, they they come to play no matter who's in or out and they believe they can win. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, looking ahead to your upcoming stretch, you got five of the next six on the road, you know, looking at Chicago's playoff chance. I mean, you know, all against playoff eligible teams. You know, what, what do you kind of make of this upcoming stretch? It's almost like a like a playoff simulation in the sense of, of on the road, you know, every other day playing and, and having that grind and to the close of the regular season. Yeah, um, you know, tough stretch where we're on the road a lot. We're, I think we're home for seven days of, the, of this 31-day period. So, you know, it's important for us to stay focused, to to – do everything we can to get better, to win games, and also to prepare for the playoffs. So there's a lot going on this time of year, and I think remaining focused and having our uh, eye on the bigger picture is important. Um, but at the same time, you know, like I like I said pregame, I think so, things change from day to day uh, in this season. It's so unpredictable that you know we really have to just take it moment by moment and be prepared to to adapt and adjust daily and still perform. And so tomorrow will be a different challenge. We'll see who's available tomorrow and, and how it all looks. And we'll go play a very good Portland team and, and try to put in a good performance. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Steve, I know we've talked about this a little bit before, but at this point in the season, knowing the injuries you have and then that it's later in the season, does a performance like this from Alizé Johnson change or shift your confidence in having to play him or a guy like him potentially in the playoffs? You know, I think that we, we feel confident that all of our guys can play in the playoffs. It's just a matter of rotations and how many minutes can go around. You know, like it's you're, you're going to play heavy minutes for your, your top players. And then, you know, you, your rotation shortened a little bit. So is there enough minutes to go around? You know, not for everybody, but at the same time, there could be situations, there could be rotations, matchup series that, that, you know, is it a line up for one of the guys on the bench that's on the fringe of the rotation. So, you know, we have confidence in all these guys. We, we try to empower them to, to play their game and to be confident and, you know, if there's a matchup for some of these guys in the playoffs or a role that they can really step into, you know, that that's possible from game to game, series to series. Um, but it's it's not it's not possible for everyone to play and for us to have the same rotation where everyone gets minutes just because you you know you shorten it and guys are playing more minutes in the playoffs. But uh what we have confidence in Alizé, obviously certainly someone that will go in and defend and grab rebounds and run the floor and do things that you know, could definitely add when you get into the playoffs and you need a spark. So like many of our guys, we have confidence in him, but uh, it's it's hard to say right now what the rotation would be in the playoffs. Thank you. Welcome. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve. Um, you talked about, obviously, in the playoffs, rotations tend to get shortened. But um, looking at tomorrow, I mean, Blake played 13 minutes, probably a little less than some might have anticipated and KD you had to go back to him in the fourth quarter 36 
maybe more than some would have hoped. Um, are those numbers clear, make it clear enough already in your mind, whether either or both would be able to play tomorrow, or is that something you really would wait for? Yeah. No, I think, you know, that informs our opinion. I mean, my, my thought would be, like I said, pregame Kevin doesn't play tomorrow and that Blake plays tomorrow. Um, you know, I don't love Blake playing back-to-backs, but we had an eye on this back-to-back knowing that we're having, you know, um, guys in and out of the lineup. So we, we definitely tried to protect him tonight so that he could be ready to go tomorrow. Um, not ideal, but, you know, he's played very well for us and it'd be nice to have him tomorrow. So, We'll see. You know, like I said, who knows? We wake up tomorrow who's playing, who's not playing, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, earlier into the uh, earlier into Kevin's return, uh, he had those high turnover numbers uh, those first few games back, and now what does he have now? 10, 10 assists to just two turnovers tonight. Uh, what have you seen from him in a facilitating uh, role? Because he was able to set a lot of guys up today, and then he even found other guys that didn't hit shots. So some of those passes weren't even reflected in the box score. I heard your alarm go off. If you have something on the stove, please, Christian, you can go get it off and make sure we're all... <laughs> no, nothing with the right, stove. Just, about the, not about the just playing. No, Kevin's done a great job, you know, recently handling the ball. And, and um, you know, sometimes that takes time when you've, when you've been out and... Uh, you're trying to find a rhythm. And, and so we know how adept he is at jumping back in the lineup and making shots, but can he take care of the basketball, um, you know, at times and putting it all together. So it's been really, really impressive. I mean, 10 assists tonight, two turnovers, um, you know, played through him a lot in the post or on the elbow or the nail. And, you know, he was able to, to pick them apart a little bit. So very, very impressive. I mean, you look at his line, uh, you know, can I say, I got the luxury of coaching Kevin Durant and uh, you stick him in the game and good things happen.